So we got the good news yesterday. The cam and the VVT delete on the 6.2 is finally completed. How do you feel about that? Pretty damn good. And you look like you feel pretty damn good. Well, it's sunny out. <laughs> it's a perfect day to get out and uh, do sh**. So uh, the motor is out of the GMC right now. So we do not have that available obviously to go pick this up so we're in the scion and we're gonna go with a buddy of ours we're gonna borrow their truck to go pick that up and we're gonna haul that 6-2 to its uh, new home it's a little toyota pickup too so this should be interesting <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious all right our ride just arrived let's see if it'll make it there all right let's see if we can beat this piece of I don't think we stand a chance. Now that's a handful. There's that beautiful 6-2. There you go, it's all loaded up. Ready to go to its new home. Yes, sir. No racing. Alright boys, the thing we've been agonizingly waiting for is finally here. It's that goddamn package on the ground right there. Took seven f***ing days to get it to Minnesota from Arizona. Look at this glorious thing. Boy. We saw that on a show. The guys bolted the torque converter to the flex plate. And then they said, oh yeah, it's got to go on the transmission. What in the hell? So then um, it is indeed dry in there. This is a dry test fit to make certain that the converter will fit in there, obviously. So far so good, so far so good, and we are in. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful piece though. They machine this very well. So hopefully one of the three are gonna line up with the flex plate bolt hole. This is kind of a universal application. So we'll see. All right. So All right, get your ass in there, you old the man. Motor now. I think we have space. What are you doing? We don't need that anyway. Yeah, who needs a 710 cap? Alright, so... Holes are going to be here, here, here. It looks like the middle hole. Yep, middle. Alright, well next step then is to put some fluid in it. So then that way... It uh, doesn't have to work that much harder, the transmission pump, in order to try to captivate this at the same time that it's doing everything else. So we found uh, the converter bolts that mounts the converter to the flex plate with the package. In our haste to do a dry fit, we didn't even see them in there. We were just anxious to put it on the, the transmission. These are brand new bolts that will work perfectly for this. So. That was kind of nice of them to send that with. It's almost like they knew what they were doing. Almost. All right, we're going to prime the torque converter by putting some fluid in it. And as simple as doing this. How much are we trying for here? About a half a quart, which is kind of dumb because the damn thing holds three. But if you try and install it like this, it's gonna do nothing but leak out. 
right and then it also has to pump for the new transmission cooler so it's a good thing it's a young transmission all right well we'll do the same thing again set it on the stool i'll get in and then we'll install it from there yes we just did it i think they can handle that you exact. might be able to i doubt it though uh, as Being long as, as my I have to micromanage your can ask everything I have <laughs> going on. So the idea is, is that you have to put the torque converter over the input shafts splines. And the idea then is to get the torque converter flush with the face of the case. So I did rhyme there. Be a Metallica song. All right. So hopefully I'm not gonna have too much mess here. And you kind of clock it a little in order to get it to mesh with the splines. And these new ones are normally a little tighter. That's, That's the first what she one. Said. Yes, she did. Now rotate it until it goes over that one and that one. Those are three clicks, and now we're flush with the case. It's as simple as it is. And of course we made a little mess with the fluid, but... Some of that was already the... there though. Yes, but a little, it was not dripping, which it is now. So, in other words, we put just a little bit over the perfect amount. Probably. After all that hassle, we finally have something that will allow us to continue this project. Yes. Which will be very cool when your first launch you're doing, after the tune and everything, you'll notice it. So this is what it looks like installed. Such a pretty piece to... to hide. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> this, is a, this is the last day we'll ever see it. That is true. That is true. They won't Go appreciate how much work went into that bitch. Uh, we'll appreciate how much work went into that when we're beating pretty much anything else off the line. Ain't that right, Wheels? Yeah. So anyhow, uh, we'll uh, continue uh, putting out updates on this as we make more progress in the future. Uh, it might be a few more weeks because uh, we're not going to be able to find time in our schedule until then, unfortunately. What? You don't like that I'm following you? Getting in your face? Okay, fine. I'll look at the truck. We'll be going for the Grim Reefer next. Definitely going to need a rematch against him and uh, Paul. Definitely going to be tracking down his G35 and seeing what we can do against that. Maybe we'll uh, take on some bigger fish after that. What do you think about that, Wheels? We'll get there. We'll get there. The Even Supercharger's that. next year's project, right? Yeah. I'm going for Mad Dog. <laughs> after that one. Him and his uh, brand new Mustang. Garbage. <laughs> yeah, it will be garbage <laughs> after we're through with him. All right, so signing off. We'll catch you next. I can't talk. We will. We're signing off. We'll catch you guys next time.